Here we're going to go into the group layer and add our images. So we have a map icon and then this blurred photo, which we'll start with. And I'm going to put the map icon on top of the photo and then just position it in the top right corner. There we go. And just to keep everything organized, we're just going to move these layers over. Now I'm adding a hit area to put on top of the map icon. And this will let us make it so that you don't have to be so precise with hitting the top right corner. We can just hit that general area to trigger the interaction. And now we're going to add the interaction, switch, animation, and transition combination and attach the interaction to the hit area. And now we're just going to duplicate the pop animation and transition patches. So each of the pairs will be used for Y position, opacity, and scale. And we're going to flip the transition values on opacity and scale so that it starts out showing. And now we can test this out. And the end value on the opacity is zero, but we don't want that. We just want it faded out a little bit. So we'll lower that. And then again, we're going to adjust the scale to something that looks good. And then move the Y value up and try this out. And that looks fine. Now we're going to add the map image. And again, organize it and just line things up. And now we're going to duplicate all three of those patches, or the patch pairs, and then again attach them to the same switch. And again, these are going to be set, setting the Y position, opacity, and scale on the image. And now we're, again, moving the map icon above the image, but the click isn't working. And that's because the hit area isn't on top of the image at this point. So first I need to figure that out. And here we're moving the hit area to the top layer. And now you can see it's working. But the map image has the same values as the photo. So we want to change that. And we'll move it down. And these are the end values. So this is where we want the map to show up after tapping the hit area. And we'll just try some different values out. And then the final map settings look good. But we probably want to change the initial values so that it creates that effect of it coming in from the front. So we'll adjust the Y position. And this is getting closer. And we want to set the scale higher than one so that it looks like it's coming in from the front, from sort of beyond the z-axis origin. And now we've adjusted the Y value and opacity. And we can turn setup mode off of the hit area. And that feels pretty good, so we can stop right there.